Sure, you can always shop around for flooring, but in the end, it all leads back to the one place you probably should have started, the experts at Carpet One. Save yourself the time and the hassle and let Carpet One help you find the right product at the right price, beautifully installed, guaranteed. Come see the one, Carpet One, on the Business Loop in Columbia. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, October the 2nd. We're going to talk about a uh, study today, ladies who have had breast cancer. I want to introduce you to Pam Osby. Welcome to Radio Friends, Pam. You're an RN. Yes. And you are here because you are looking for ladies who have had breast cancer, but a specific type? Well, uh, breast cancer, but they've been diagnosed with lymphedema. And what is lymphedema? Lymphedema is a, there's some trauma to the lymphatic channels, which is like a highway in, mm -hmm. your, in your body that carries fluid. And when women have breast cancer treatment, a lot of times those channels get traumatized. And what it, what it happens is it blocks those channels. So you get a backup of that fluid that normally travels through freely, but you get a backup of it and it causes swelling of the usually the arm. And so a lot of treatment has to go into keeping that swelling down so that women can continue to function normally. And it's called lymphedema. Lymphedema. So you're looking for women who have had breast cancer dealing with lymphedema yes and you're asking them to be part of the study right what do they have to do they need to call me uh, <laughs> or email me okay um, so your telephone number is 314-255-6677 right okay I'll, I'll give it to you one more time if you want to run and grab a pen or paper or you can email at le research mu.edu. Uh, L-E research at Missouri.edu. Oh, at Missouri.edu. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. L-E research at Missouri.edu and you spell out Missouri. Right. I'm a, I'm actually, I'm a doctoral nursing student and this is my dissertation study. Okay. And if women will call, I can explain the study to them. But what we're trying to do is improve the way that they can stick to their self-management regimens using interactive theater. Oh, our next guest that we have sitting right here mm -hmm. kind of falls into place there, doesn't yes, she? Yes, and we know each other very well. So uh, how, how long is this study? Well, they will be enrolled into the study. Half of the women will get printed information, which is the standard of care currently, uh -huh. to learn about lymphedema and how to take care of it. The other half of the women will get that same information, but they'll also attend an interactive theater performance, okay. which is about lymphedema. The script was written by your next guest. Heather. And uh, it is based on focus group interviews with real breast cancer survivors who have lymphedema. Okay, so if you want to be a part of this study or you want more information, the telephone number to call, I hope you got a pen and pencil now, it's 314-255-6677. Or you can email leresearch at Missouri, spelling out Missouri, dot edu. Right? That's correct. Pam, thank you so much oh, for coming Oh, thanks for by. having me. Thank and I, I, hope, I hope you get some calls from ladies who want to be a part of this study. I do too. Thank you. Okay. Now, Heather Carver, sitting right over here. You and Pam actually know each other, and yes. you work with Pam. Yes. I helped write the scripts for her project, for her studies. So. Okay. Heather Carver is with us, MU Theater. And uh, besides working with Pam and writing the uh, script for, the, for that project, you are here to tell us about 
Romeo and Juliet opening tonight. I'm so excited. Tonight is opening night, and it's a good thing that I, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, but I'm thrilled. They, yeah, they couldn't. Romeo and Juliet couldn't be here because they're they're working on the show for tonight. <laughs> well, we're doing something really exciting this year, and that is that we are part of the concert series, mm -hmm. and our um, play tonight will be opening in the Missouri Theater. Oh my goodness! Yes, and so um, right now, I you know we love to have our shows in the Rhinesburger, which we will for the rest of the season in our corner playhouse. But tonight's Romeo and Juliet. Um, and playing throughout the weekend are going to be downtown on 9th Street at the Missouri Theater. Are you going to fill it up? As I think we are. We are so excited. Oh, I mean, we will be turning, you know, we can't, don't have to turn people away. We have the huge, beautiful theater yeah. um, and the cast and crew. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful. What a beautiful play. You know, this is the 400th, next year, 2016 is the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death. Mm -hmm. And so we are doing a whole season um, dedicating... Uh, most of our works to either Shakespeare or Shakespeare related plays. That's wonderful. So. And the fact that you're, so you're doing all of Romeo and Juliet every night uh, this, this weekend, weekend. Mm -hmm. this weekend at the uh, Missouri Theater. Yes, yeah. yes. And it's I, just gorgeous. What a wonderful venue for us. And how do people, uh, how do people get tickets? Well, they can get tickets by going to the Missouri Theater box office mm -hmm. um, as they typically do for the concert series. Or they can call 882-PLAY. P-L-A-Y, that's right. So <laughs> like they that. can call that us. That number is so easy to remember. <laughs> you call 882-PLAY yes. and you can get tickets. If they're used to buying tickets with us in the, Re in the Rhinesburger Theater box office, we are open and we are ready. Okay. So they can call us also. So it's Romeo and Juliet tonight, uh, tomorrow, and Sunday? Yes, Sunday, is it matinee, Sunday matinee, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, okay. That's at the right. Historic, beautiful Missouri Theater. We're thrilled. It's going to be gorgeous. All right, what else have you got besides Romeo and Juliet? Oh, my Juliet? goodness. Well, because of the anniversary and the Shakespeare theme, um, we have quite a few plays throughout the season. Our next one up is Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which, mm -hmm. frankly, does not have anything to do with Shakespeare, <laughs> but it's a whole lot of rock and fun. Okay. So, you know, Hedwig is a play that um, is, you know... It, Prepare yourself for coming to a, a rock concert mm -hmm. is what we like to tell people. And we're even going to have shows. That's in the Corner Playhouse. We're going to have shows both at 7.30 and at 10.30 at night oh during my. the run. Oh, so kind of like the Rocky students, Horror Picture Show. Exactly. And we're even doing it on Halloween. <laughs> oh, okay. So people can come see us, and that's exciting. But then we're going to follow up with a play that was actually written um, as an uh, as a play with a tribute to, it's a parody of Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Lost. And so it's called Wants Unwished Work. And it is about a group of um, folks, women who are, you know, they're really wanting to start a think tank. And how can how can they change things up in the 1990s? And, and trying to talk about how there are so few women characters in Shakespeare's plays. And mm. so that'll be lots of fun. And that's our fall. But then next spring, we're going to have Tom Stoppard's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead based on Hamlet. You know, that's uh -huh. a fun play. I want to come back and talk about that. You got it's it. It's hilarious. Okay, you come and, back. And, talk. and and then we'll have, we'll finish up with Much Ado About Nothing. Okay. But so, don't forget of Shakespeare. tonight, <laughs> Romeo tonight. and Juliet at the Missouri Theater. Come see us. Heather Carver, MU Theater, thank you so much for coming by and sharing that information, not only about tonight and the weekend, but the whole season. Yeah, well, and into next spring, we're too. We're excited. Okay. Monday, we've got the Boone County Historical Society on. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio, Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Kevin Casson, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser.